Hello there. If you are a beginner in the Chinese language, we have a lesson for you because we are Chinese Pod, and we bring you lessons in spoken Mandarin from Shanghai, China. And my name is Ken Carroll. I am Jenny. Now we have a very, very basic lesson here today for、mm. absolute beginners,、yes. and it's going to tell you how to.、Uh, Kind of an awkward situation. A slightly awkward situation.、Mm. Uh, you may have met someone before but forgot about it. Yes. Anyway, about their name. Their name. You've got、mm. the name indeed. So this is how you deal with that situation. Now, so let's listen to the dialogue. We always take a top-down approach here, where we listen to the dialogue first, get the sounds together, and gradually piece the meaning together like a jigsaw.、Mm, yes.、Mm. All right. So let's listen to the dialogue three times. Dialogue first time. Hey, 你好。你好，是我呀。对不起，我忘了你的名字。Second time. Hey, 你好。你好，是我呀。对不起，我忘了你的名字。Third time. Hey, 你好。你好。是我呀，对不起，我忘了你的名字。Okay. Translation. Yes. Hi, 你好。Hey, hello. Hi, 你好。Hey, hello. Hi, 你好。你好。呃、uh, ，hello。你好。呃、uh, ，hello。你好，是我呀。It's me. 是我呀。It's me. 是我呀。对不起，我忘了你的名字。I'm so sorry. I've forgotten your name. 对不起，我忘了你的名字。Sorry, I forget your name. 对不起，我忘了你的名字。Now. Mm, the kind of stuff that happens all the time. It happens. I mean,、uh, must be for you, Ken. You're so famous. Ah,、uh, the thing is, I have ah、uh, some language schools here, right? And so there are literally thousands of students in the、mm. school, and so I, I, you know, I meet them sometimes, and then I, I、uh, don't remember.、Later. You're our English idol. Well, <laughs> it's. I feel really bad. Most of the people I meet, I do remember. But it, I mean, I've been here for so many years. It could have been ten years ago. Yeah. Somebody says, "Ah,、oh, remember me?" I say, "What?、Well, remember me?" I was. You impacted my life. You changed my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So、um, I really, try, it's really bad when you don't remember someone's name or even their face. That's、mm, really bad. Honesty is the best. Honesty、policy. is the best policy. But、yeah. here's a way, because what this dialogue essentially is doing is, if you don't remember who they are. You could just say, "I forgot your name." Yeah, I mean, I、oh, just don't remember your name.、Mm. Tell me your name, and that's a start.、Yeah. Anyway, so let's analyze it in a little bit、yeah. more detail. So, hi, 你好 Now, 你好 of course, means hello. hello.、Mm. It can be used any time of day. Yes.、Uh, in most situations, 你好、mm. fine. Now, the person is. Says to you, ni hao, and you、mm. also say ni hao. Ni hao. But you say it in a way that indicates I don't really know、mm. who you are, right? In an ambivalent, in a slightly ambivalent way. So that person says, "Huh?、Eh? Ni hao?" Uh, maybe、oh, ni hao. A little bit hesitant. Yes,、yeah, slightly hesitant. So that person is like, "Shu wo ya?" It's me. Mm. It's me, Shu Wu. Yeah, yeah, Shu Wu. Now let's look at the elements here, the three parts.、Um, the verb to be is Shu. 是 fourth tone. Fourth tone.、Mm. So the verb to be now and the pronoun I. 我我我、mm. Now, so the verb to be is an infinitive. It's used. Verbs don't change. They don't inflect in Chinese. So it's it could be used as an infinitive, or whatever. In this case, 是我 means it's me.、Mm. It's a present tense, whatever. Now,、uh, so 是我 means、mm. it's me. You're excited. Indeed. Shuo. Shuo. Welcome back to another installment of Chinese Pod Trivia. And the question for you is: For what test does Chinese Pod offer preparation services for? Is it A. The polygraph, B. The colonoscopy, 
C, the HSK test, or D, the CAT scan? Uh, the CAT scan? Ooh, sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C, the HSK test. That's right, Chinese Pod will thoroughly prepare you to pass this rigorous test of proficiency in Chinese. ChinesePod.com forward slash HSK. Uh, and then at the, there's a particle here at the end, which is... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and what does it indicate here? Shi wo ya. Yeah. It's like, don't you remember me? Yeah. Kind of it yeah. has that connotation. Yes, of course it's How me. efficient Chinese is. Yeah. <laughs> Distill that sentence into one little particle. Exactly. So ya is a particle here. Yes. And it functions at the level of... Wow. You suppose the other person is on the same page as you? Kind of, mm. exactly, yeah. Now, if you just said, shu wo, mm. it would, you would assume that that person knows you. You'd use that on the phone or knocking at the door. You'd say, yeah. shu wo. Mm. There's no question here. Yes. But when you put the ya at the end and you say, shu wo, yeah, means... You should remember yeah, me. You should you know me. me. Yeah. Now, that's when it gets embarrassing. Mm. It's like, this person obviously knows you. Yes. And you've kind of forgotten who they are. Ah. Oh. So you apologize and yeah. you say, 对不起, 对不起. 对不起. Mm. Now that's super high frequency, useful expression. The tones on that expression, please, Jenny, could you tell us? Fourth, neutral, and third. 对不起. 对不起. Mm. 对不起. 对不起. Can be used in essentially any scenario where you need to apologize. Mm. Okay, good. Now, uh, so the next sentence was. 我忘了你的名字. Now, let's take it from the back here. Uh, so the word for name is. 名字. 名字. So, 名字, does it mean give a name or whole thing or what does the it mean? The whole thing. The whole thing. Mm. Give a name plus uh, surname. Okay. Yes. So, 名字, meaning your name. Mm. Now, your name is... 你的名字. 你的名字. Good. 你, as in you. Mm. And the is a particle indicating possession. Yeah. Okay. So, 你的名字 means your, your name. name. Mm. How do you say my name? 我的名字, 我的名字. Good. His name. 他的名字, 他的名字. Good. Now, so there you got it. So, my name, 我的名字. Now, I forgot or I forget. 我忘了, 我忘了. Now, 我 is a pronoun for I, as yes. we had. The verb to forget is 忘, 忘. Fourth tone? Fourth tone. Mm. So forgetting, forgetfulness is, I don't know, it's something strong. It's fourth tone is mm. one. Yes. Okay. Now, 我忘了 means... Forgot. I've forgotten. Mm. Yeah, I have. I forget, or you could say, but I've forgotten. Yeah, yes. I've forgotten. So the whole thing together again, I've forgotten your name is... 我忘了你的名字。我忘了你的名字。Good. Well, mm. I've forgotten your name. Sorry, I've forgotten your name. So there you go. All right, now let's listen to that three more times, shall we? Dialogue first time. Hey, 你好. 你好. 是我呀. 对不起, 我忘了你的名字. Second time. Hey, 你好. 你好, 是我呀. 对不起, 我忘了你的名字. Third time. 哎, 你好, 你好, 是我呀. 对不起, 我忘了你的名字. Okay, now, so what we learned here today, if you're in an embarrassing situation, you can't remember who somebody is, you just ask them. You what better the tell them. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. Yeah. Now, so a couple of interesting points is, you know, you want to indicate, it's me, as if, you know, don't you recognize me? Mm. You say, 是我呀, 是我呀, Good. the particle adds Good. the nuance. It mm. does. Uh, and the expression for, I'm sorry. 对不起, 对不起. Good. And I've forgotten your name. 我忘了你的名字。我忘了你的名字。Good. Mm. 
Well, I'm not saying it's good that you won the title means. I'm not saying it's good that you forget his name. But、I'm、it's good enough you remember the face. <laughs> it is. It's good <laughs> enough that you've learned how to say that. And, and,、uh, okay, so、uh, you know that if you go to ChinesePod.com, you can explore all of this in a lot more detail. You can、mm. see it.、Uh, you can write it and read it and do the whole thing, and that helps you to learn it、uh, on different levels and consolidate it and process it.、Mm. Deeply、to、into your brain, wangle. indeed,、yeah. so that you do not wangle、mm. exactly. You do not forget it.、Uh, now we'll be back again tomorrow, of course, as ever. W- where would we ever go? We shall never leave here. We will here. never know. We'll always be back. But we will always be here. Indeed, we will not wangle <laughs> to come back tomorrow. But right now, Jenny, I think it is time for us to say <laughs> 再见 As usual, Chinese Pod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number zero five six zero. So just go to www.chinesepod.com/slash zero five six zero, and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again: www.chinesepod.com/slash zero five six zero.